Hello and good morning, everyone. This is Jake, your resident content cowboy har, gear gangar. Sorry, I've been replacing words with gangar. I barely got any sleep last night. I was up all gangar playing gangar. What? That's a reference to this video. They nerfed surf on slow, bro, but why didn't they nerf surf on gangar? This feels like an episode of Seinfeld, doesn't it? You can't nerf surf. You nerf surf on slow, bro, but you don't nerf it on gangar. What about Cramorant? Yeehaw, everybody. So there's a big announcement. Blastoise is getting two skins. One looks like a Sylveon and one looks like a Mammo Slime. Where is Blastoise? What is happening? We also have a release date for the mobile version, September 20, I had it in front of me, now I lost it. September 20, Gengar, dang it, September 22nd, which coincidentally lines right up with the end of the first season of Pokemon Unite. If you pull up the battle pass, which I'm doing right now, I guess you guys can't see this, what's the point? But there are 34 days, six hours, 39 minutes left in season one or i guess the first half of season one excuse me so it'll still be season one but the first half is ending right when the mobile release comes out let's take a look at this presents together shall we so they lead off this pokemon presents talking about pokemon unite which as someone who's playing a lot of pokemon unite i think that is very very cool let us take a look i'll take a sip of coffee whoa you see those pokemon in the background are these reveals? Man, I can't wait to see what this is like on a phone. It's gonna be really interesting. You see all that tapping going on? Tap, tap, tap. So mobile's coming September 22nd, which we already talked about. You can pre-register now on the Apple Store and you can play with people on a phone. I don't know. Can you imagine if they show if people are on a Switch or on a phone, how you're gonna feel depending on who you're paired up with? Obviously, we're gonna get these pre-registrations. It's a Pokemon game, so everyone's gonna get this awesome Pikachu outfit. I already want to buy the other Pikachu outfit, but here we go. More Pikachu. We all still get the Zeraora. Move ahead, buddy. Surely you would think Blastoise would be here. That's an odd Blastoise skin. That's Mamo Gengar? Who is this? This is unbelievable. So. Mammo Swine there, and we'll just take a look at it one more time because this is all the footage we have, obviously, of Mammo Swine. To me, this feels like they could market it probably as an all-rounder, maybe as a defender, but also maybe as a speedster. So it's moving through, it's running and dashing and starting sort of an area attack. Go back, Mammo Swine. I want to see more of you. And it grabs people and pulls them to them. I, my first guess would be this is an all-rounder as Mammo Swine, but I could actually see them somehow make it a speedster as well. Sylveon, we see this awesome wave energy attack where you're holding it on them and doing, you know, continued damage. This is one of those moves that I feel like is just going to melt newer players. Uh, more experienced players, you're gonna have to catch them. You know, someone's gonna have to pick them up and telekinesis or put them to sleep or stun them or something. But it seems like this can do a lot of concentrated damage here. I'll show that one more time. That looks pretty sweet. I mean, the moves like that are great, especially in sort of public games. And then I don't know if that's a Unite move, but it, oh, it had to be a Unite move, right? Because we had the flare of energy around Sylveon. So there we go. A very, very strange Blastoise reveal. <laughs> We barely saw any Blastoise. That's the weirdest part is no Blastoise. And one of the more bizarre welcome rewards is Pikachu for people pre-registering. I mean, I feel like at this point, just give them Zeraora, but I get that they want a reason to go Switch, a reason to go mobile. I'm really excited to check it out on mobile. I don't know if you're going to be playing on mobile or if you're only gonna play on Switch. I would like to mainly play on Switch if I'm being honest, however, I do think this game is going to run a lot better on my phone than it's going to run on my Switch. As crazy as that sounds, you know, a, an iPhone, even if it's a year or two old, it costs like $800. This Switch costs, you know, 300 bucks, and it's already pretty old. So I'm hoping to check out the phone version of this game, and I want to play a lot on it, and I want to see what the differences are. I want to see where the phone really excels and where the console really excels. I think I'm gonna play mostly on console though. I just like it. I like that setup a lot better. Let me know what you think in the comments. What are you most excited for? Uh, what part of the Gengar, what part of the reveal was the most interesting to you? And I don't know, did you expect Mammoth Swine? I did not expect Mammoth Swine. So there you go. Thank you all for watching. 
Thank you for listening. I will see you all, Gengar. Mwah! Next time. See you all, Gengar, next time.